Just why is the presidency insisting that Akere Dolu can't send Fulani headsmen away? <laughs> is it? They, there are some questions that are called a billion dollar question. You know, there is this game they play and says who wants to be a, mid a millionaire and um, it starts from as little as, depends on the country where you are really. You know, when uh, Frank Odoo, if I pronounce his name correctly, was doing that in Nigeria, we start from about maybe is it 100,000 or 10,000 Naira and each question mounts up your, stack up your, 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 your account with regards to the questions you are able to answer. That, this is one of such questions. Why is the presidency insisting? Oh, I'll give you a little taste, you know. The presidency is particularly emotionally attached. And if you don't know, they are called the foot soldiers to so the Fulani headsmen. Have you considered, think about it deeply, how Muhammad Buhari came, despite all the promises made to Nigerians, enormous, yes, great promises, why Nigerians believed them in 2015, came out, queued behind them and voted, voted PDP out and voted them in. With all the numerous promises listed out, not knowing there was, you know what we call the little prints in between documents, they will advise you to read it, but they intentionally make it so small, so you, like, you get tired of reading, reading the document. Listen. They came up and the first thing they said was Ruga. Give Fulani headsmen land in your land. <laughs> and you say they are, why they are. <laughs> Let's understand all that is going on. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Why is the presidency insisting that Akere Dolu cannot utterly outbust the Fulani headsmen who have been causing various serious crime in the state he is the governor and he has a duty to protect lives and property the presidency made the declaration after the governor gave an ultimatum to the headsman saying it is constitutionally wrong <laughs> the constitution has come in play <laughs> uh, but does the presidency also know that being the governor of Ondo State, the primary work of Akere Dolu is to ensure the safety of the people. <laughs> My dear, thank God uh, uh, Akere Dolu is also a, a son. Okay, he's a seasoned lawyer. By profession, he's a lawyer. Okay, and he has stepped up to become a son, senior advocate in Nigeria. And once upon a time, he was the uh, MBA president. So he knows his onions, okay? On those states is right now the most unsecure states in the southwest region. There have been a lot of kidnapping, killing by the bandits and kidnappers. The first class king in on those states was kidnapped and killed late last year. Also, some other reports of kidnapping have happened in the state. Various personalities, academic staffs. The governor of Ondo State made a declaration and put it out very clear that he wants the Fulani headsmen who have been alleged of various crime, the automaton to vacate the forest. The presidency said nothing when a first-class monarch was killed in Ondo State. Not a word. In fact, they did not hear about it. But here, yeah, all ears are open to the pronouncement of the governor to say, leave my state. Is Ondo state the only state in Nigeria where Fulani headsmen can live? Is the forest the only forest where they can live? The pronouncement by the governor is made due to make sure that the killings and kidnapping going on in Ondo state for months now be stopped. But the presidency insists that he cannot do that. <laughs> Nigerians, what do you think? What do you think? The presidency is saying Akere Dolu have no rights. You know, let me read some of the statements that Nigerians has been saying so you can understand what is going on. One uh, person, I'm not going to mention names, okay? For sake of privacy, I'm just going to read the comments. One person said, this shows that this government is behind the terrorist killing in the land. God will judge them. 
Is it not a, you know, when some things happen in science, yes, if you worked, if you ever did reagent, uh, you, know, you know, you are mixing up chemicals, acid base and salt and all that, and you put your reagent and you, you, you mix them and what do you get? You infer. You give, you give an inference what could possibly be happening. Buhari, God knows what is going on, is another statement by somebody else. Another one said, you people should also send his brothers back and let him know the constitution that the government has a responsibility to protect lives and property. Another one said, the governor never asked Fulani to live on those states. He said they should leave the forest. What is wrong in them hiring places to live? Take their cattle to the forest, eat, then they go back home. It shows you that they are criminals. This presidency, this president knows exactly what he's doing. Those who are there knows what they are covering. My dear, this is what is going on. I just wanted to pick a few so that you can understand the heart of the people. This is an APC governor. Yes, giving an ultimatum for the governor for the for the for, for these people to leave. And guess what? They are fighting their own governor. I tell you, uh, there is more to this than beneath the eyes. So we always tell you at Apple Line Media, there is more to it. Why is the presidency emotionally attached? Why? Why? Why are they emotionally attached? This has become the big issue of today. Where everybody is wondering, is there something more to it? Buhari sees people. You know, the other time he was in Castina when those boys were kidnapped. He was there. He had his holiday. Enjoyed it. Drank his tea. Ate his food. Fufu and whatever. He ate it very well. In fact, in large number. Because he was protected by battalions of soldiers. He cared less about what is going on with the common man. And those whose children were taken from them. And you say you have a president? See, let me tell you. Eh? Let me tell you. There is nothing with this government. Rather than a bunch of people who do not care about Nigerians. Listen, none of them care about you. <clears throat> Unless something happens, eh, and there is a shift in the course of what is going on now, God save us. God save us. That's all I can say. God save us. We'd like you to leave us a comment. Please like or share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.